G'day guys and welcome back to Quick Math. Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting mixed numerals. So these questions often look much more difficult than they actually are, right? If you're good at adding and subtracting unlike fractions, 100% you're gonna get this quite easily. So what I want you to do is go through the exact same steps that we go through for our unlike fractions, but we're just gonna ignore that whole number out the front until it comes into play at the end. So if we've got an example here like this, we've got three and a quarter plus six and two fifths equals what? So the first thing we've got to do is make the denominators of the two fractions the same. And we can do this by just multiplying by the other denominator. So this quarter, I'm going to times the whole fraction by five, and this two over five, I'm going to multiply this whole fraction by four because it's the opposite denominator. Then I'm going to rewrite out my fractions. So I've got three, five over 20, plus six, eight over 20. Now he here, I can add our fractions together, okay, and then add the whole number as well. So I've got 13 over 20 is my fraction, and then the three plus nine, uh, the three plus six is equal to nine. And that's my final answer. Obviously, you still need to check for simplification if, pos if possible, but that's all we need to do. The only way that this gets a little bit harder is if our answer ends up with an improper fraction within a mixed numeral. All we have to do there is add one whole to the number out the front. So for example, in this question, we're going to follow the exact same steps as we did before. We're going to multiply this by the denominator 5 and multiply this by 6. This gives us 4 25 over 30 plus 3 24 over 30. This here, we add our denominators this, like we did in the last example. So we've got 7 and 49 over 30. But because that's an improper fraction, we can take out one whole minus the denominator from the top or from the numerator. And so that leads us to have 19 over 30. But instead of having seven, we've moved that whole one from a fraction out to the front. So we're left with eight, 19 over 30. I hope you guys found that helpful. Just a reminder that there are some free worksheets attached in the description below relating to this very topic. I also put up a PDF of the notes so you don't have to copy them from the video. If you do need any additional help, please don't be scared to send me an email. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for some more quick math.